Good morning, everyone. Coffee Cup Challenge Day 23, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I do know, but I, I could look. I need this black coffee this morning really bad. So, Pigeon Forge. Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Great place. You know what's funny is it's is it's kind of stuck in the middle of everywhere. I've been there multiple, multiple, multiple times. You go from Cherokee, North Carolina, into the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, into Gatlinburg, Tennessee, into Pigeon Forge, and then Surville, which is just north of there, which is Dolly Parton's hometown. What's funny is in Pigeon Forge, it's like the East Coast Branson, Missouri. They have shows. They have places to go. They have Dollywood. Went Christmas time to Dollywood one year. Yeah, two adults. It was great, of course, two adults. We also went to, you know, was it Disney World in Florida? Yeah, that was a surprise. Anyway, Pigeon Forge, I'm going to switch hands here for just a second. Yeah. There's a place called, if y'all don't know much about me, you will by the time you get done with these. <laughs> uh, I'm also a foodie. So I do diner tours. I find diners. I find little holes in the wall restaurants. Um, I watch diners, drives, and dives. Great place. I'm starting to get a new list of places when, if I ever make that trip west again. Oh, but where's some places that got to stop? Oh, well, anyway, back to Pigeon Forge. One of the places should be on there, and it's a common name. I mean, there was one in Jeff City. There's one in Lafayette. Uh, there, Mel's Diner. I don't know who owns it. It's Mel's Diner. What I do know is it's an awesome, awesome place to have a breakfast. There's also a place up there... Um, not Apple Tree Shanty. Apple Tree Shanty's in Denver. It might not be around anymore. But there's an Apple restaurant just north of Mel's in Pigeon Forge. And the other neat thing about Pigeon Forge is they have a brochure that you pick up for the guide. Pigeon Forge is, every block is labeled. So, yeah, I know. I know. Every block is labeled with a street name. Well, this is a little different. This is not only a street name, but it's 2.4, 3.6. So they've numbered them. So when you get on the grid, you get the little brochure and you look in the grid and you're looking for Mel's Diner or you're looking for one of the theaters there. Oh, okay, just go up. And it, I mean, it's excellent. But Pigeon Forge, if you go, it's just south of I-40. You're going to need more than a day. There's probably 18 different theaters that you can go to, musical theaters and stuff like that. There's a, a oh my gosh, I can't remember all of them that we went to. Of course, there's the, the go-kart racetrack. It's a little tourist area, but it's a great place. There's a cavern that you can go visit to the west. You, If you get bored, you fishermen, <laughs> You can go north up to Serville, up to I-40. There's a Bass Pro. If you go south, there's a trout stream between Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. I'll talk about Gatlinburg. Maybe I'll do tomorrow. Maybe I'll do Gatlinburg. And then uh, the next day, I'll do Cherokee. That, those are the, high, the, the nice divided highway all the way down. Then you go through the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Listen, did you know that Great Smokies Mountain National Park is accessible, I think they said, to over a fourth of the population of the United States within an eight-hour drive. And the other neat thing is it's the only national park that I'm aware of that is still free. It's a great place to go. Anyway, y'all look into Pigeon Forge. It's a destination. First time I ever went, didn't know what was there. Had a great time just adventuring around. Oh, I'll tell you another one, a good, good area. 
Um, there's a place called Mingo Falls. It's right, uh, it's just a tad north. No, I'm sorry. It's a tad south of Pigeon Forge. Oh, that's down in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Hey, y'all, have a great day. Mm. Bye.